my name is Marvin Rodriguez. I'm with the True Precision Machining. Uh, we are aerospace, ISO, uh, ITAR certified machine shop. The industries we serve are aerospace, medical, and military and defense, as well as other industrial applications. At True Precision, we have multiple capabilities. Uh, we have wire EDM, Swiss, 5-axis, 9-axis multi-turret lathe, um, bar feeders, pallet changers. With Mono Inventive, we were able to get more than just machine monitoring. Uh, we were able to see what kind of pairings were really uh, profitable for the company, whether it be what operation was at this machine, uh, what kind of employee, what, what employee would be best on that machine, uh, and along with, uh, you know, what kind of, when should we run the job? Should it be done, run at night? Should it be done on the weekend? Uh, all that information was able to be uh, integrated together and, and given to me in a report. Um, I feel like the industry is really fragmented and siloed that each individual thing does its good job, but with the AI, it brings everything together so that it's giving you a full picture of what you need to see. At the end of the day, uh, when you send a quote out to your customer, they're expecting that price and you're expecting to make money on that price. And as we ran the AI system, it would tell us how to be more profitable by making better decisions on what we could do to improve on the shop floor. And we were able, actually able to see bigger profits. So the guys at Modder are pretty cool. Uh, we've been dealing with them for a little over six months. Um, they're very collaborative very innovative, uh, very responsive. They're really into what they do. The interesting part about this whole integration of the software was that uh, I actually got injured. Uh, I had a spinal injury for about six months and uh, we luckily had already gotten the system going and functioning and uh, it was nice to be able to be at home and watch the machine monitoring uh, so that I could see where the problems were occurring from the comfort of my own home. Another nice feature is that the employees are now able to see the information as well. Uh, we actually, they have their own login, own passwords, and they're able to see how their performance is throughout days, months, and even at an hourly rate. Um, we understand that people can see this by looking at their monitors, but it's cool that they're able to see what their peers are doing and how well they're doing against their peers. And even not only against their peers, but even previous work orders of people that have done this for years. When we saw Moda Inventive, uh, it made me realize how much time we were investing trying to get the information from our system and seeing that Moda Inventive will automatically show me that information versus us having to do the work. So with Moda, um, what I really liked about the system is that I was able to uh, use the information that it gave me to give me priorities as to what I needed to fix first in our operation floor. So with Moda and versus the old system of you know tags, we're able to get more detailed information um, and we're actually able to predict what information is going to be going into the system and shown in our reports. Um, so the fact that before we would have to manually move tags, uh, this would tell us where, when it's coming and where it's going to be at and where we're going to end up at. Right now the AI kind of helps us um, again monitor the productivity of the machines and see where our gaps are, where we need to uh, reprioritize our people. Um, it also helps with the financials of the company to see how well we're tracking, if we need to make any uh, uh, either reduction in costs or uh, improvements in uh, buying efficiency. Uh, it really takes a, a big picture of all the information and, and tells you where you can improve on. At first, we were a little hesitant to put Mono and Venom in right in right away because we knew we were changing ERP systems. Uh, but it turns out that it was very helpful for Mata to see the information that the, the machine monitoring system was getting so that we can start that 
uh, data monitoring and make sure that we were getting accurate data. Mata came on site, uh, it was a very easy installation of all the hardware. Um, it was actually, I didn't have to do anything. They just came in and you know, asked that where, what machines were gonna be attached to and they came and put all the machine monitoring systems to each machine. The reason we had two systems is because one, we had older equipment that we wanted to still capture data from and the other one had newer uh, ethernet ports which was easier to access more information and more data. The whole installation process took about a day. Uh, it was 22 machines. Machine monitoring system captures everything from emergency buttons to feed holes to rapid overrides to spindle overrides, uh, optional stops. Um, the machine monitoring system actually even measures the program. Uh, it tells us what program was being run throughout the day and when it was re reported. So with Mana Inventive, the collaboration was very uh, powerful because we were able to throw ideas back and forth to be able to uh, get more information from the software. Uh, we were able to get custom reports with daily reports, uh, hourly utilizations, uh, real-time text, email, uh, notification of the status of the machine. I feel like with Mata Inventive, we were able to think of the possibilities that could happen with the system. Um, it, it, it really got people's uh, ideas flowing, um, got us rethinking about how things are possible and how things can be done.